Hello, good evening, and welcome to HobbyKing.com. Stuart here with a presentation of a firm favorite of H King. This is our 1400 millimeter cub that many of you know and love in the previous versions, the yellow J3 and the navy version, but this is the H King Swiss Cub. Now often what we like to do here at Hobby King is bring back those firm established favorite models and give them little updates and improvements just to uh, bring them in line with um, more uh, modern standards as it were in modern thinking. And the modern thinking with this one, well the undercarriage on the previous versions was a weak point and that is the big, big uh, upgrade on this uh, Swiss Cub. It now has a full metal undercarriage. This is sheet metal and it's uh, sprung steel here. You are not going to break this undercarriage. I'm going to give you a flight demonstration in a minute and you'll see that it is very, very tough. Not only that, but the airframe itself is actually lighter than the previous versions. It's done in this civilian scheme and part of the ways that we've been able to reduce the all up weight is to leave bare white foam, which on this scale Swiss scheme actually looks really, really nice. The only paint on the model is the blue that you see uh, up the front there. And also the rigging wire on the tail. Previously, that's always been metal been these uh, metal rods with springs and tie hooks. It's been a bit fiddly. We've just simplified that and lightened that much more with this elasticated wire and it looks very, very authentic too. On previous versions, many of you said, oh, could only fly on forest. That's really not the case. And now that it's that much lighter, you can really, and I honestly mean really, fly on 3S quite happily. I'm grading it with three different tiers of power setting. If you want pure scale with just a tad more, then you'll go for something like this. This is a three cell 2700 uh, LiPo. If you want scale, but with even more aerobatic potential, then you'll want to be running a 2200 three cell LIHV. So it's like a LiPo, just a little more punch. But if you want a good all round sports model, then of course you can run it on the 2200 4S that a lot of you were running the Navy Cub and the J3 Cub on anyway. No changes needed to the model. Um, the prop stays the same, speed controller stays the same. You can use any one of those three batteries to get a great varied performance out of this Cub. Personally, I like it right in the middle, this LIHV. I don't like it stupid crazy fast like it is on the 4S, but I do like it quite scale as well. So for me, the LIHV is a great uh, choice. Now, for those of you that may have not seen the Cub before, um, it is a very refined model. It's got lots of nice little scale details, really nice solid plastic cow. This is a 12 by 6 propeller at the front. It's all supplied, it's all plug and fly, so all you will need to do is fit your six channel receiver. Speaking of receivers, if I turn it over here, uh, now keep in mind that this is an older pre-production sample, so it's probably a little worse for wear, but this is the hatch under here. Also gives you a better shot of that really, really firm undercarriage and those lovely wheels now. Um, this is where I have my receiver. I've just got a piece of foam in. Take that out there. I've just got onto the side and your battery just slides in the front and this piece of foam retains the battery. If it doesn't do uh, retain it well enough, you could always add an additional piece of foam behind that, which is what I do. So it's a very, very straightforward setup. What you'll also notice with this Cub is just how gorgeous and clear that cockpit is. And one of the things that the uh, Navy version came with, and it's still supplied with this Swiss Cub version, is the FPV mount if you want to do FPV flying from inside the cockpit. It's really a very nice experience and this is a good platform for it too. There's also a JST lead supplied off of the speed controller so you can power your um, optional FPV components. So that's about it. What I'm going to do is we have time because the sun is setting. I'm definitely going to fly it on my favorite pack, which is the LIHV, and then hopefully give you a little demonstration on the standard three cell and then the four cell too. And we're going to do that right now in the flight review of the new H King 1400 millimeter Swiss Cub. Okay, so here we are with the 3S flight. This is the 2700 3S. Um, you can use a 2200, I know lots of people have 2200s. You'll just need to push it uh, that much more further forward than I've got the 2700. It's nice and securely in there, uh, just as I showed you out on the bench. I've got the action cam on here, so there's a little bit more weight, and there's a bit of a breeze. I think it's probably 10 miles an hour or so, but this little cub, even on 3S, 
copes really, really well. Now, when taxiing, you will need a lot of elevator to keep the tail down. And if you go into high rates on the rudder, do watch out because the rudder can be a little bit sensitive. Another tip for the rudder, it's a cub, so you will need it in flight. I mean, low rates, this is 3S, let's see how it goes. Holding in a bit of up elevator, I'm holding full up elevator in low rates, slowly apply the power, a little bit of rudder. It will weather vane a bit. Look at that lovely takeoff. That was taking off and it's still climbing at about two thirds throttle. I don't know if you can see that on the radio. No, I haven't got it, but yeah, there we go. Two thirds throttle. And that looks really rather scale for me. I've backed it down to half now. I've just got to do a little bit of trim because of that camera. Now this for me is nice cub cruising speed. If all you want to do is cruise with a cub and a very good looking cub, look how nice those colors are. You see the red and the blue hanging uh, against the sky there? Very nice. Now this is for me pure scout flying. This is a nice cub pass. A little bit of power. I'm at about half power now. It's getting knocked around in the wind a little bit. Remember, it is a little bit lighter. But this is climb out on four power on 3S. You've still got enough to go up, kick the rudder in, catch it on the elevator, and come around. 3S is more than enough power if you just want to do this kind of flying. Do a nice little touch and go because, as I said before, the undercarriage is one of the key improvements on this model now. Look how good that looks. Bring it in over the tall grass, flaring a little, still keeping some power on. Flaring, flaring. It's like a tank, this thing now with that undercarriage. In, in all, you know, good sense of the word. It's indestructible. So that's Cub flying on a 3S. I'm using rudder in the turn, coordinated turns is important. Let's get you some full power flying now. This is full power 3S bank and yank. It's no slouch, it's a little bit more than scale. It will do a loop from level flight, power off at the, the top there, bringing it round. So what do you think, uh, cameraman? Do you think that's good enough for 3S demonstration now? Looks all right. All right, let's do a little bit of a Farnborough pass to finish off on 3S. Then I'm gonna put the LIHV in. Bit of a Farnborough pass, so kick it over here, opposite and then opposite rudder. Look at that holding, really, really nice. It just kind of uh, surfs the wind there, I like it. I'm gonna bring it around to the left, can we see that on camera? Got it. Okay, bit of power in the turns, bit of rudder. I'm kind of crosswind now. Let's do a full power pass, 3S. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna land. Landing is a real pleasure with this thing. There's no worries, no stress. You are not going to break down the carriage. I'm about a quarter throttle now. I'm easing on the elevator to reduce the speed and keep the nose up. Now I'm flaring, reducing speed, flaring. Bit of a bounce. It is a little stiffer, of course, so you will bounce a little bit more. Now I'm in high rates again to taxi, especially on the elevator, not so much on the rudder keeps that tail down. Look at, look at, look, come down. You see that in the sun? Look at that, that looks so, so sweet. That's gorgeous. That's really, really nice. Okay, the camera's not very scale, but I think the rest of it's super. So, I'll keep that there with you. That was 3S, standard 3S 20, uh, 2700 in this one. You will get around, uh, well, on the 2700, at least uh, eight or nine minute flight time, especially with that kind of mixed throttle use flying. So 70% on that, you're gonna be flying all night on packs like that. Right, let's do the LIHV. All right, LIHV, taking off. Nice scale takeoff. Now look at the difference there. I'm climbing out on just over half throttle now. And I'm gonna bring it around, rudder in the turn, and that's full speed downwind. You see it's a little bit faster, right? Look at the vertical. The vertical's better. All right, this is full power LIHV 3S into wind. So that's, that's the performance I like. It means you can just open it up a bit more for aerobatics. Again, use rudder in the turn to initiate. Let's do a loop now from level flight. You can do those bigger now, you don't run out of energy at the top. 
and you don't even need full throttle. I can roll off the bottom of this now in, in high rates. And then I'll kick it over into a stall turn here. The vertical's that much better. So if you've got an airline HV around this size, do use it, it's great fun. And a very, very uh, good combination with this model. I'll just do a few more touch and goes to again show you guys the undercarriage working in all its charm. If, I, if, the, if the wind is right, I can probably kick the wing over a bit and do a one wheeled thing. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's get down. One wheel, there we go. All the way. Just don't go crosswind like I did there. You wouldn't have been able to do that on the previous version. The undercarriage would not have held up to it, so we're really pleased with how this has turned out. You can fly it in a small space as well. It doesn't need to be flown fast. This is half throttle now on LIHV. Half coming round. A little bit of opposite rudder. Feeding on the power. Catching the light nicely. It is a bit windy here still. Our little cub is coping a treat. All right, we'll do one more um, touch and go, I think, on this one. How's it looking on camera? Camera really likes it. All right, that's what we like. Okay, here it comes. All right, flaring, just over the threshold. Beautiful. Kick on some uh, rudder and some aileron. You get yourself a bit of a uh, wing scrape. It's a shame the wind's in the wrong direction. I can't really show it as well as I would like to. All right, so that is LIHV. I think for most, that will be more than enough. Let's bring you for a landing. And we will just quickly put you for on the, on the, uh, the forest flight. And remember, people are saying it can only be flown on forest. I've really proven that that's not the case. Look at that, flaring. Oh, <laughs> like butter on bread. Love it. All right. This is, this is one of the, my favorite things to do with this model. Just get down low, get it in the evening sun and taxiing around towards you. It looks gorgeous. It is such a sweetheart. She's so pretty. 3S LIHP, look at that. Can you get that? I was flying for what, two and a half, three minutes there? Something like that, yeah. Sim. So um, she's a very economical girl. Now, just for, for the hell of it, we're gonna do the forest. It's not gonna be very scale, but it's gonna be lots of fun. Let's do it. Watch for the tower when you apply full power. Woo! How was that on camera? Nice. All right, so obviously 4S is much, much faster. There we go. It rattles a little more, because there's that much more energy being pushed around. But it is, you know, it went from a scale model to a really good sports model at this point. But this is not really how I like to fly, but it gives, uh, gives way to personal preference, this model. It can be whatever you want it to be in that respect. Let's do a, a mid-throttle pass now. A little EDF there. So, power until the cows come home. You'll probably find that you'll end up cruising on 4S at about half throttle most of the time. Let's do a touch and go on 4S. Give myself a bit more power on the approach, which is nice. Coming with the fresh hold. The wind's still kicking, still quite brisk. Looks really nice on that approach. Yeah, I've overshot now. There we go, one wheel and the other. And then full power, there. Look at that, up, 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 up. Not unlimited, of course, but you definitely don't want that one to that's just silly. This is all power off. Now power on, kicking in rudder here, coordinating them with uh, aileron. See how slow we can get it on for us. Whoa, almost that slow. So there we go, that's about about a quarter throttle on for us. How's that looking on camera? Good. All right. Fast pass on for us. See, just so you guys can see, this is full power coming into wind. And up she goes. Woo! 
I do one with the wind as well. Silly power. Else we don't know how quick it is. What, downwind? Yeah. All right, okay, okay. Bring it around. You can really bank and yank, of course. Yeah, everyone's waiting, so we've got to hurry this up. We are, of course, flying at a club. All right, I'm, st I'm staying on full power now. Really turning and burning. Full power, downwind for us. That's a racer. Yeah, <laughs> um, and then, oh, let's just uh, show a bit more of the aerobatic potential. So, of course, inverted is really, really nice. How's that looking on camera? Good. Let's bring it around, do an inverted pass. Holds really, really nicely. That's what I mean. It's more than just you know a classic cub. It's a great sports model as well. This is a, just over half throttle now, inverted. It's holding really, really nicely. Looks nice in that skiing, really good. We've got the power to roll out of that well. And now just banking and yanking around. I will land now and finish this flight review because there's other people here waiting to fly. Where's the wind? All right, I'm gonna walk this way a bit. Landing. Looks great, and the, the light just sort of reflecting off the, the cockpit there. There we go, it's a little bit faster on 4S. It carries a bit more weight, but you can just flare into it. It will float more, it seems, on 4S. Flare, flare, flare. There we go, get that tail down, flip into high rates. Bring your rudder in, hold full up elevator, especially when you're taxiing downwind. Let's bring it back over here. Well, you've got to watch it. <laughs> Quite uh, sensitive on the tail and high rates on the uh, on the rudder because of that steerable tail wheel. So there you have it. That is the newest version of the H King 1400 mm Cub. It's the H King Swiss Cub. Um, very very versatile aircraft. It's uh, quite a bit more refined than previous versions. It's a very nice classic looking scheme. It's a little bit lighter. It's definitely much, much stronger. With that, with that undercarriage, you'll break the model before you break that undercarriage. And it's available now to order directly at hobbyking.com. And it should be in all warehouses with spare parts too. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments underneath. I always like to read those. If you haven't liked and you liked, please like. If you didn't, that's fine too. And also please subscribe and follow us on our other social platforms. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.